what's up guys back again with another video um, this time I'll be showing you how to make um, events in your Minecraft plugins so um, first let's create our plugin here so uh, yeah speak it then next and then the group ID you have to remember is going to be our package name so I'll just do me dot Illuminati productions because that's me and then artifact ID will be your project name so um, this will be the second project so we'll just do it um, We'll just name it events, okay? So that's, you can change this if you want to, by the way, it doesn't matter. Um, and then set it to Maven, make sure it's on Maven, not Gradle, because this is what we're gonna be using. And so now that we have access to this, we can change the description. Um, second episode, blah, blah. You can put whatever you want, it's your project. And good, good, we have that. 1.12.2, authors, Illuminati Productions. pretty cool pretty cool and we can put our website here if we have one so next and then now we just put the project name again so I'll just name it events again pretty cool and yep there we go then it'll load up okay let's set up our SDK one point and we're gonna auto import once it pops up right there there we go awesome so now that we have that we can start coding okay so there's two ways we can do deal with events inside of our plugin um we could have it on um, all our events inside of here the main class where we have our on enable and all that or we can have let's open this up we can have a separate class or yeah a separate class for each event that we have which will be useful when you have giant plugins where you want to have everything more structured um so you would have like a package here and then it'll be called um events and uh yeah so <laughs> it gets confusing because we already named it event so it's like what am i doing i should have named it something else but yeah we would have another package right here inside the java class and then it'll be called events and then we can reference it but you probably don't know what i mean so let me show you so first we're going to do the first method where we have it all in one class so this will be the main class here so let's go ahead and create um that's our startup message um the plugin is starting up and then um, I'm just going to get rid of this method here because we actually don't even need it. That's just for um, if you want to do certain stuff. So, okay, so let's say we want to make an event in here. We have to have this up here, implements listener. So this an event is basically a listener. I guess they're the same thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, so we, once we have that, we can do, we have to have here event handler. And that will just... Yeah, and then um, we have to have now we can make our event. So to make an event, it's going to be a method. So it's going to be public void, and then you have to give it a name. So we'll do on leave bed. That's usually how people make methods. They do on and then that and then that, and then oh, well, let me explain what a, uh, an event is. I don't think I did yet. So an event is something that is triggered as soon as something happens. So for example, right here, as soon as a player leaves um, the bed will run this piece of code. It's basically like an if statement, it's waiting for a condition to be met. And once that condition is met, it'll run the code that you reference it to run, I guess. So on leave bed and then parentheses because it's a method, right? You have to have parameters and the parameter will be the actual event that's within bucket or spigot, I guess. So player, and then you have all these player events. So once a player does something, these events will be triggered. So that's really awesome. So for example, if a player moves, that will be triggered. Um, if a player is kicked from the server, that will be triggered. So yeah, it's really, really cool. It's fun to play with. So we'll do player bed leave event and there's an enter event also. So player, when you have a player enters a bed and then we got to give it a name. So it's a parameter, right? So we just give it a name. So we can have, usually people do E or event. So I'll just have mine as event if, since it's more, uh, uh, it's just better that way for you guys who haven't done it yet before. So once we have that, we can start coding. So we have our event here. So as soon as the player leaves the bed, this is triggered and then everything inside here will be run. So here is the code that will be run once the event is triggered. I suppose it is wrong. Okay, so now let's see what we wanna do. So as soon as the player leaves the bed, let's send him a message, okay? So what we have to do is get the player that it's affecting. That will be helpful because if we don't have the player that it's affecting, we can't send, it a mess send the player a message. So that's probably like hurting your brain, but once you get the hang of it, you'll know. So what we do to get the player that it affected, so you just do event. So this will reference the whole event and then we can get some information from it. It'll help us out. So event dot, we can get the bed name, 
um, or block, whatever, we can get the player. So that's what we want. We're going to get the player. So get player. So this will give us the player. And then we can get the player's name. We can set his health. We can do lots of things to the player. So this is really, really cool. It's just so amazing because you can do so many things if you just play around. But so we have the player. So we're going to try and get his name, I believe, if we need. Maybe not. We probably don't need his name. We just need the player. So we're going to make this here. So player, player oops equals event dot get player so first let's import this so highlight or click this and then do alt enter and then import class so this will import the player class for the bucket from bucket or spigot whatever and so now what this does it creates a basically a variable of the event uh, player from the event player it's going to it's taking the player that the event affected and setting it to a variable name player or I, I guess this could be an object I don't know how to explain it but it's actually a variable whatever but um so yeah I'm rambling a lot but it's pretty simple don't freak out so player dot and now we can affect this player however we want to so um we can make him stop flying we can make him die by setting his health to zero we can send him a message look right here so we can send him a string messages but we're gonna send him just one message so send message and it's a string right so we gotta send the message and we'll say um you left a bed so some, something simple like that right and that's awesome so now every time a player leaves a bed it'll send him that message so yeah so that's pretty cool um it's pretty simple but if it's a little complicated for you don't worry just play around with these different events and you'll get the hang of it so anyway so once we have that event created we have to um reference it inside of our on enable method so it has to register register the event uh, i guess you could say so get server so you'll need this every time you make an event. So every event. So get server dot get plugin manager dot register events new. Or no, 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 it won't be this. It won't be new. It'll be this dash this. So let's see. This plugin, it'll be this because it's inside the plugin. This is just, it's always going to be this, okay? But this one, this depends if you're doing it outside of this class, like we talked about before, or within this class. If it's within this class, it'll just be this, because this is referencing this, basically. It's just regular English. That's what it means. So it's inside of it, so you'll have this on both. So anyway, so now what I did, it references the, we've, the event that we made and added it to here. And um, since we have, we'll have... Um, all of our events in this class, we only have to have um, have this once. But let's say we have multiple events in different classes, we have to register a new one of these every time, basically. So I know that can be a little frustrating and confusing if you don't know what I'm talking about, or I'm talking too fast or something, but I'll show you. So don't worry. So once we have this all registered and everything, we have our event created, we're good to go. So um, let's check our plugin.yml, make sure we're all good here. Yeah, looks good. So now we're going to open up our Maven. So we'll view, tool windows, and then Maven projects. And then I'll make this a little smaller. Lifecycle, and then right click package, and then click run Maven build. So this will create our target folder, remember? And then we're going to access that and then load it into our test server. So I'll pull the test server up real quick. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. Cool. So now that's where our plugin will go, of course. So we'll open up the target here because it's downloading and then we're going to right click this and then show and explore. This is talking about the Fire Explorer, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we have this. This is our plugin, right? So let's go ahead and uh, drag and drop it into our plugins folder. So now we added it and let's start up our uh, server. Hopefully it went well. We got to start Minecraft too, of course. Awesome. So the plugin is starting up. That's good. That means uh, it worked because that was our startup message that we chose. So that's all good. So now we got to test it by getting on our server. Okay, so now we're on our server. So we'll do slash PL to see if our plugin's on there. And yeah, it is. So it says events right there. Cool. So nothing has changed, really, but we haven't triggered the event, right? So let's go ahead and get a bed. And we'll I'll just use a red bed. And then we'll put it down right here. And we'll set the time to night. Oh, I'm not opt. Op Illuminati. Time set 100. I don't know what night is. I'm struggling. There we go. So if we get in our bed. So now we're in our bed. 
But then when we get out, it says, you left a bed. Awesome, that works. So that's really awesome. So um, now we know the event works like we did. We set it to do. And um, yeah, so it ran code, sent us a message. So awesome. So now what you can do is create events. They're all the same. They're all just like this. This is how you work with events, basically. And they're all a little different, but they all work the same way. You can get the player the event is affecting, affecting and then uh, send them a message, whatever you want to do. So now you know, you know how to make events, and you could register the events, and you can know how to send player messages. So that's really cool. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. And uh, actually, no, we're going to create one more event so we can just get a little practice here. So event handler. handler so public void on um, kill mob. I think that's one. Player um, kill. Nope. Player mob. I don't know. There's so many things. How about this? Player shear entity event. So on shear um, on shear sheep so i think you can only shear sheep anyway right i guess oh we have to set the parameter name of course so e uh event and so now we can do some stuff so let's do event dot uh we can get the entity it's affecting right we can get we can set it to canceled set it like true so we're gonna go ahead and do this one oops Oh, that's just asking if it's canceled. So we can do set canceled. True. So what this will do is every time the event is triggered, it'll just cancel the event. So it's really simple. And yeah. So and then we'll do um, player event dot get player and then send message. Nice try. And I want to show you something really cool too. We can make it colored like sometimes in, if you go to a server you see color chat this is how you do that so do chat color capital c on both dot and then you have the colors so aqua all these colors so we'll do green and then plus because you're concatenating basically and there we go so that we have a color and it, it's really cool you can click this and then you can choose the color what the heck doesn't want to work oh well Anyway, so yeah, it shows the color right here, and then um, yeah, so we can affect the colors now. You know how to make colors. So, um, by the way, what I would advise you to do is make a notepad document and then save everything like snippets of code, so you know how to do it and you don't have to come back to this video every time. Although the views would be nice, but to help yourself save snippets of code, so then you can know how to make an event, change the chat color, send player messages, get the player, all kinds of stuff. Make commands once we do that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and package this. And then we'll load it into our server and I'll be right back. So now we're in our server. We'll do PL to make sure it's there. It's good. It's there. And let's see if our bed event still works. So time set night. Then we'll get in bed. Take a short little nap. And then we'll wake up. And it should say the same message. You left a bed. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's a sheep. Good. So we'll say, um, let's give ourselves a shear. Then we're going to shear the crap out of this sheep. So, boop. Nice try. So we can't even do it, right? Because we canceled it and then we said to send the message. Nice try in green. So that's exactly what we wanted. And that's really awesome. So that's cool. We can do that now. So we, we know how to make events, basically. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is, you know, create the event, register it, and then you can do whatever you want. And um, yeah, so now let's create events in different classes. So we'll have some structure, right? So let's go back to our little project here. We'll get rid of this. We don't need this. And then we're going to um, create a new class here. And we're going to call it, I mean, a new package right here. And then we'll call it events. And don't get confused. This is a package. This is a class. And our project just happens to be named events also. But anyway, so in here, we'll create a new class. And this will be our, this will be our event. So let's say, let's call this one um, on death or something like that. Um, actually, classes are supposed to start with a capital, so we can do just whatever like that. I mean, you can be called whatever you want, really. It doesn't matter. It's your project. So, yep, we have this here. And let's just go ahead and get rid of these because it'll still work the same way if we have those there. But let's just get rid of them. OK, 
Okay, and then now we can start messing around with an event. So this class will be our on death event. So every time a player dies, this will be triggered. So we're gonna have to implement listener, of course. And then now we can start coding. So event handler and then public void on death. So player death event, awesome. And we're gonna use E because that's just shorter, just to make your life easier. And then, so now we're gonna have something happen when the player dies. So we'll do E dot get player, E dot get Can we not get the player for this one? That's weird. Um, hmm. We can get the desk message. We can get the, oh, entity, get entity. That's the same thing. So how do I know it's the same thing? If we do dot again, um, right by the get entity method, it says it's a player. That's the, that's the uh, variable type basically, or object type. I don't know the difference, I forgot. But anyway, so we know it's a player, so it's gonna give us the same thing that we want. So player dot send message, and then we could say, wow. You died, loser. And then um, we'll do um, e dot um, get entity or get the player, you know. And then we'll have um, is flying or no set flying equal to true. So maybe the player will start to fly. I don't know. And um, yeah, so let's test that out and see if it works. But first, we have to register the event, of course. So let's go back into our main method here. And so we'll register it. And so get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. And so for the first one, we have to register the class that we had here. So how to do that? We'll do new on death and then just tab and then this. And now they're both registered. So that's pretty easy just new and the class name and then you know have you'll have this for this one every time and there we go so that, now it's registered so let's go ahead and get on the server once this is done I'll be right back okay so now we're in the server so let's go ahead and die so we'll do game mode one or zero oops now we're gonna die ouch so right off the bat we see wow you die loser and it still says the death message of course so we'll respawn and should be able to fly Oh, I guess not. Um, but anyway, um, sometimes I've had trouble with the fly, the fly thing anyway, but you get the point. You can make the player do stuff when he dies, and, you know, as you can see by we send him a message, right? And so, yeah, this is how you use the methods. I mean, uh, events in Java. I mean, <laughs> this is how you use events in the Spigot plugin stuff, and, uh, yeah. So it's pretty simple. All you got to do is register it, and then you'll be good to go. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we'll probably make like an example plugin or maybe we'll sit, get started with commands. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment if you have any questions or you need help. And I'll help you. If you have an error or something, I'll help you. And peace. Subscribe.